Hello and welcome to my review of the Orc Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun. This model will set you back £22.50. It's quite pricey, but it is a big model. And that Shock Attack Gun is incredible. We'll go through the rules of it later on in the video. But firstly, let's have a look at all of the detail on this model. Now, I've wanted to get this model up for a very long time. I managed to pick it up in the uh, Cult of Speed box set, uh, which I got a good couple of years ago or so. Um, and I've been w slowly working my way through uh, building all of the models and um, I'm pretty much almost done. Let's have a look at this model. I love this shock attack gun. It's got this whirling like uh, energy uh, nodes going round, um, swirling round it. Then it's got like this little fan turbo jet engine thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's sucking this Grot or Gretchen up into it and then probably manifesting it somewhere else. I like how he's hooked up to the gun as well and he's got this targeting uh, eye and he's got this um, nut uh, drilled into him. He's got a, a flathead screwdriver for some reason and then he's got a gauge that's hooked up to the weapon on this harness um, and he's got this bag which I guess there's a Gretchen already sucked up in there and about to be launched out. It's got a padlock on this area here strange um yeah you've got some power cabling and venting and a little lightning bolt thing there um yeah i just really like this scratching that's clawing his way uh, about to be sucked up i mean it's a lovely model to paint i guess i mean looking at all the paint painting that people have done of uh, this one it's a it's a really decent one so yeah despite the price of 22 pound 50 i think this one is worth it and it's a really really cool uh, model and um one of the best mechs, I mean, I've got a big mech in uh, Mega Armor and uh, I've got this big mech as well. And I think I've just got a normal mech. Um, but speaking of which, we'll have a look at some size comparisons now with, with the other mechs that I own. So here are the other two. Uh, you've got a uh, big mech in uh, uh, Mega Armor and just, and a, just a normal mech. Um, as you can see, um, I'd say the, the big mech looks a bit like a big daddy from Bioshock is the, is the biggest, is the tallest, is the thickest and then you've got the mech right there on, on the right um, so I guess the mech is kind of orc boy size and the big mech is say knob size um, maybe even war boss size and then the uh, big mech in um, Mega Arm is definitely war boss size with the uh, teleporter blaster uh, weapon, which looks incredible. I mean, if you like mechs and you like uh, orc mechs, you can't go wrong with any of these three models, really. Especially if you've got a load of vehicles and killer cans and death dreads and stompers and gorkonauts and morkonaut. I mean, these models specifically go very well uh, with the morkonaut. So the other size comparisons I'd like to make uh, with the uh, big mech is with an orc knob, which is right here similar sort of size uh, i'd probably say the big mech is a little bit bigger uh, and then a war boss right there war boss is yeah heads and shoulders above uh, the uh, big mech just compare him to a, a boy an orc boy and a, and a gretchen as well you see him sort of like the sizes of gretchens compared to to him but uh, it gives you an idea so we, if you just got boys in your army and um, then uh, he's going to be he's going to stand out especially with that massive weapon so Hope the size comparisons have helped. And the final size comparison I always like to make is just with the Imperium Trio. Uh, we've got a Legacy Space Marine here on the left, uh, Primaris on the right, and then Sly Marbo smack bang in the middle. Now, he's a little bit taller than a Space Marine, if you minus that scenic base, but compared to a Primaris, which I think is quite an interesting one, the Primaris is a fair bit taller. Um, obviously the Big Mech has got a lot of bulk because of that weapon. Um, but yeah, if you're fighting against a Primaris army, it's uh, worth noting that they are going to dwarf um, most of the models that are this size or or smaller and um, the uh, Primaris Force will, will do. Until Games Workshop get into gear and create some bigger orcs, I guess. Okay, so now for the juicy review part of the video, uh, which I've been looking forward to from the very start. This big mech with shock attack gun is of course in the HQ section of the Codex of the 8th edition 2018 Orc Codex. He's a power points cost of a 4 and a points cost of 55. It's worth noting that uh, the Grot Euler is an additional four points, uh, but he is optional to take naught to one of those. So the Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun 
Stat line reads movement at 5 inches, weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 5 plus, strength 5, toughness 4, 4 wounds, 3 attacks, leadership 7, and a save of 4 plus. The Grot Euler is a movement of 5 inches, weapon skill 5 plus, ballistic skill 4 plus, strength and toughness are both 2, wounds and attacks are both 1, and leadership 4, and a save of 6 plus. So I wouldn't really get the big mech with shock attack gun in close combat. You know, he's only got the 4 wounds, he's only got the 3 attacks, and his save is only 4 plus. He doesn't have an invulnerable save at all. He is a single model armed with a shock attack gun and stick bombs, and it may be accompanied by a Grot Euler. So, this is the main reason why you'd purchase him is the shock attack gun. It's a range 60 inches. It's a heavy D6, so you could get one shot, or you could get six. It's a strength of two D6 though. Its AP is minus five. That's incredible. Damage is D6. So I don't like the uh, randomness of the weapon in terms of the number of shots, what strength it's gonna be, and also what damage it's gonna be. There's, there's too many variables. It makes it a fun weapon, but with three gambles of uh, the stat line, it certainly makes it not a very dependable weapon. Abilities. Before firing this weapon, roll once to determine the strength of all its shots. If the result is 11+, plus, each successful hit inflicts D3 mortal wounds on the target in addition to any normal damage. Now, bear in mind you need to get a 5 on the dice and 6 on the other dice or two 6s to get these extra D3 mortal wounds. So there's a small chance that you're going to get that, but imagine if you do get two sixes. It's going to be a fantastic day. Ability. Stick bombs work as usual. The range 6 inches, grenade D6, strength 3, AP 0, and a damage of 1. His abilities. Here we go. Mob rule. Daka, daka, daka. Big Mechaniac. Big Mechaniac. I think that's a word play on uh, Maniac. At the end of your movement phase, this model can repair a single friendly clan vehicle model within three inches. That model regains D3 lost wounds. A model can only be repaired once per turn. That's quite nice. Again, worth him staying at the back uh, with a stomper, maybe with, maybe with a Gorkonaut or Morkonaut, maybe putting, putting him in uh, one of the vehicles um, it's, itself. But it's nice that he can go around repairing vehicles like Death Dreads and who knows what. Grot Euler. Once per battle, a Grot Euler can assist its master in making repairs. If it does so, the model being repaired regains one additional lost wound. That's very nice. When rolling to wound this unit, use the big mech's toughness while it's on the battlefield. The death of a Grot Euler is ignored for the purposes of morale tests. The Grot Euler is considered to have the character keyword for the purposes of shooting attacks. Pretty nice. Now the Grot Euler, of course, you know, you may pay the four points, but you can only assist once per battle to get that extra wound. So it's up to you whether it's worth it. Keywords, Orc, Character, Infantry, Big Mech, Infantry, Gretchen, Grot, Euler. So there you go. Uh, that's my full review of the Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun. In case you haven't realized yet, I'm a big fan of the model, big, big fan of the weapon, even though it's quite random in its output. It's still excellent to have a an orc unit that can sit at the back and just let rip 60 inch range weapon um, you want him with your looters or you want him with your mech guns specifically repairing units and letting rip with the uh, shock attack gun every once in a while he's not too expensive uh, to break the bank uh, the only issue you're going to have is he does take up an hq choice which could be better used for you know a big mech in, in mega armor or just a war boss so that's the only difficulty you'll, you'll have is him taking up one of your HQ uh, choices. What do you guys think of the model and the rules? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching for Gork and Mork.